Yo, it's me, Chris, and as you guys can see today, I am wearing the It's On Like Donkey Kong t-shirt, my favorite shirt that I own. Peekaboo, I'm with this guy. Whoa, it's me, Chris, aka King of the Spears, aka Bill Different, aka Chubby Red in the Flash. And today we are going to be doing something considered the hardest task on this planet. What is it that we're going to do? Watch a movie. Whoa, what movie are we watching? Knives Out. Uh, forgot my home. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. But uh, it was the most voted for movie on the Patreon poll yeah. for this week, and it won unanimously. Like, I think it had more than double the votes. There wasn't even a runner-up at a chance in hell. No. So this movie's apparently good. I've heard a lot of great things from it. It has Daniel Craig, which we love. Very good actor. It has Chris Evans, very handsome actor. Uh, directed by Ryan Johnson. Oh. Oh. Star Wars The Last Jedi flashbacks. <laughs> ah! Stop! Stop! No! Ah! Yeah. Uh, so, Ryan Johnson can't do Star Wars worth crap, but apparently he can do his own movie. So, you know, just let, never let him touch Star Wars again, and maybe it's a good thing. So, I hope so. My expectations are kind of like 50 50 on this for obvious reasons. That was the only movie I've seen him direct so, and, so far. So. Yeah, and I think it's like one of my least liked films i've ever watched in my life that is true but you know what the most least thing that i don't like or do like are you okay no did you have a stroke yes so what do you like curtis i like the people on the patreon those people are great and i love them all right these people are so awesome and just for a dollar you too can be awesome you can vote on the polls you can talk to each other you can also you know have your opinion make a difference in the movies that we watch. You know, maybe you didn't like Friday's movie and you'd be like, oh, you know what, it kind of sucks, guys. I mean, that means you guys kind of suck too. How about we vote for this one instead? You can do it. And for people who are equally as awesome as these guys, oh, these people actually, are the people who are subbing to the channel. You know, all these people subbing to the Octocrow channel. We're really close to 60K. So, you know, just hit that sub button right now. Just like, boo, 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 just hit it right there and you'll be a really awesome person. Then we have those who are not subbed to the Octo Cruel channel. These guys are absolute losers. They're disgusting. They look like goblins. Nobody likes goblins. I don't know about you, but goblins are some of the most ugliest creatures I've ever seen in my life. They steal your gold and they run away. That's what you are, okay? Nobody likes you, all right? Now, there's a quick cure to being a goblin. You can revoke your goblin card very fast by subbing to the Octo Cruel channel right now. Woo! You're not a goblin anymore! Woo! Woo! Everyone apparently likes you now. Wow, what a difference the world is now. Cool. The world's a better place with people like you now. Don't be a goblin. Sub to the channel. Do it. Yeah, just do it. But on that note, I think we're just going to hop into the movie. So... <laughs> Alright, I better see some knives in this movie. Yeah, there better be some knives. I'm, I'm going to be really upset. Guarantee you someone dies to a knife in this movie. They better. I better. Two people better die by Two a knife. people? Two. All right, man. I'm throwing up. Three people. Three? Three people going to die by a knife. Three people? Three people with a knife? Dog, you crazy. Three. Like, I'm questioning if there's a... Yep, Whoa. there's all you. Holy Christ, it's scary. Oh, my God. There's also a dog. Two dogs. Two Maybe dogs. Two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. Oh, they're very cute. My house, my rules, my coffee. I like that mug. That's nice. Respectable. I don't like these though. No, me either. Not so respectable. Oh Whoa. God! What the? F it just gets worse. You really be collecting these? <laughs> like, damn. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the statues are cool. Morning, Mr. What Thromby. What the fuck kind of doorway is that? <laughs> oh, he's uh, already out of bed. Damn. One knife. Ah. Oh. Fair play movie, already one knife. Actually, two if you count on the breakfast. Ooh. It's Harlan's son. Walt Hi, Walt. Hi, Martha. It's Walt. Mm-hmm. Would you mind coming to the house early? The police have a few more questions. What? Questions? 
know what I mean? Who murdered him? Yo, is that an elephant statue? Yo, that's a dope statue. Yo, I want that outside of my house. How are you doing? Was that Not a very vape? good. Ew. Alone. Ew. That's cringe. Lots of days and not knowing what to do next, you're part of this family. Wow. Oh, okay, that's Thank that's kind of sweet. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty nice. How are you doing, kiddo? Linda. Oh. You know the funeral helped, I guess. Just seeing him. I thought you should have been there. I was outvoted. Get arrested. Die up your own ass for all I Richard. care. Richard. What? He's not coming. What about asses? What? what? Little shit. Uh, we're ready for you now. We'd like to see you one at a time. All right. Why is he talking I'll like he's first. scared? I'm assuming yeah. this will all be wrapped up before the memorial tonight. We'll do so, how you doing, kiddo? He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Usually it's the opposite way around. All nice. Right. We're with Linda Drysdale, Neith Thromby, uh, Harlan Thromby's eldest daughter. Do all those knives! That took place That's a of lot of knives, my god. Ago, November 8th. So we understand that, that night the family had gathered oh, so to celebrate him. your father's 80th him? birthday. Yes. Yeah. Did anyone besides the family show face? Um, Fran. God, I can't so remember. Harry. Jacob. And I'm dating Italian guys. Marta, Harlan's caregiver. She's dating Chewbacca. Good girl. <laughs> Hard worker. Great Nana. Harlan's mom. Hi, Nana. His mom. Yo, the frames on her. My God. How old is she? <laughs> she looks like a dinosaur. Everyone idolizes their dad, right? I don't know. Do they? Very much not. <laughs> Just shut him down. <laughs> Harlan started out with a rusty Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time. Seems like all his kids are self-made overachievers. Sure. For the record, I'm speaking with Walt Thromby, Harlan Thromby's youngest son. So, you run your father's publishing company? It's a family's publishing company. Dad trusts me to run it. 30 languages. Over 80 million copies sold. A real legacy. That's well, a lot of languages. Fan. I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but... fan. I'm a big fan. I mean... Oh, God. Of course this guy is. Um, so you're in the area, right? Uh, you guys probably arrived around the same time. We all got here around 8. Jesus, Don, are you all right? Are you all right? Like, dude. He's 16, politically active. The boy is literally a Nazi. He's an old right troll. Whoa! Shit. Kids today with the internet, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Well, this Richard guy, man, he's just like right out there. You remain close to the throne. Oh, they're my family. <laughs> And supported by them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's with that? Right. He wants to see what um, kind of reaction they give. Showed up to the party around the same time. If I could pause, because I just is that guy. And why are we doing all this again? This is just some follow -up oh God damn! He looks too good, man. To be thorough, it's not so fair. Figure out the matter of death. Okay. So who the fuck is that? <laughs> um, <this is> Bois <laughs> Blanc. Bois Blanc. Yes. That's a cool name, actually. Bois Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I'm here at the behest of a client. My presence will be ornamental. You will find me a respectful, quiet, passive observer of the truth. Fine. As a self-made man myself, I have to express my admiration for how you followed in your father's footsteps. You know, the whole family, too, and Joni with her thing, and Walt with his publishing empire. Yes, I mean, Walt, he's done well with what Dad gave him. Not that it matters, but really, Dad hands oh. him a book twice a year, and Walt publishes it. Are you baiting me, Detective? And if you think I am dumb enough, to be baited into talking family business, into shit-talking my baby brother in front of a police detective and a state trooper. Walt doesn't run shit. Oh, Richard, you dumbass, this guy. What did Holland say to you? The Netflix guy's a business affair guy. He sent something over. 
you put me in charge of our books. Let me be in charge. Let me do this. They're my books. And then this is not how I wanted to have this conversation. I have kept you from building something of your own. But you're not going to be running the, the publishing house anymore. We'll talk details tomorrow. You kind of just fired him. Yeah, you, you definitely fired him. You want to talk about an argument? Hell, Ransom had an argument with him. Ransom, that's uh, Richard and Linda's son. Mm. Look, we all love Ransom. He's a good kid. We love him. But with Ransom, he's never had a job. And Dad, for some unknown reason, huh. always supported him. They have this love-hate bond. They fight. But that night, God, they had a blowout. Strange. They went into another room to do it. Speaking of getting into it, <laughs> you were at the house early to help the caterers set up. Did, did you converse with Harlan at that time? You see, I spoke with the caterer this morning. She didn't see you helping her staff. She did hear Harlan in a screaming match with somebody that afternoon in his oh. study. But Joni was here, too. Um, she was early, so it might have been her. Maybe you ask her. These were two male voices. Woo! Ooh. I was at the house early. To see Harlan. What were you seeing Harlan about? It was just a mix up with the uh, the payment for Meg's tuition. Yeah, the school hasn't got the check yet. I don't know why Alan didn't mail it. Well, Alan didn't mail it because he caught a discrepancy. You have been double dipping Meg's tuition and stealing from me. <gasps> what? Oh. What the f- Whoa! Oh, he's looking for that letter. Oh, yeah. Oh, Richard being sketchy. It doesn't look good, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Son of a bitch. It was the force of the tell her himself. <gasps> Holland Thromby's nerves. Marta. Cabrera. Marta Cabrera. Miss Cabrera, you can just wait inside and we'll Ms. be with Cabrera. you. Miss Cabrera. Just ignored her. Just ignored his ass. I've been doing a little poking. I don't work for AVNA. Harlan hired me directly. Take a seat. A little bird mm. told me. You have a regurgitative reaction to Miss Truden. <laughs> yes. Oh. It's something I've had since I was a kid. It's a physical thing that I... Just the thought of lying. It, it makes makes me puke. Really? Ew. Oh. That is bizarre. Does Richard have an affair? An affair? Yeah. A yes or no will do. No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, not the pig. <laughs> no. Did he plan to fire Walter? Can I just wait inside? I feel like I shouldn't be yeah, here. Yeah, please, just wait inside. Stay close, all right? Yep. Yo, he's too good. Way too good. I'm here because this morning someone dodged a very important question. Hmm. Oh. Me. Linda asked who hired me. I do not know. An envelope of cash showed up at my apartment yesterday with a news clip on a Throbby's death. An envelope. That worked. Walk me through everyone's whereabouts at the time of death. So sometime later that night, really near 3 a.m., Meg woke up because the dogs were barking at herself. Now, everyone's stories matched. Every moment accounted for. And there is no other staircase up to Holland's room? None. It's the creaky one. Interesting. Wow. And as we can see from this morning, everyone can lie. Well, almost everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Miss Cabrera, um... We kept you waiting all afternoon because I wanted to hear from you last. I needed an entire picture of the evening in my head. And up, up, yeah, I got, got it. it. Up, 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 I got it. Harlan. Up, up, up I got it. Up, up, I got it. Up. Okay. Ah, no second thoughts. No. No, 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 no. Get up I here. I had a glass of champagne. No. Harlan, listen we to are, me. It's you've late. only had one glass. Had... If you're going to put that vile shit in me, you have to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's medicine. Such a bad loser you are. <laughs> Mets them bad. I'm done with you. Oh, that's fair. That's a lot of medicine. Yeah, what does he hey, have that need that much medicine? You had a long day. You want to do drugs? You mean the good stuff? Why did I wait till my mid-ages to become a morphine user? What a... <laughs> what a nudnik. This, this stuff is the best. Oh, my God. Is there a problem? You gave me a hundred milligrams of the good stuff. <laughs> um, Holy shit! Excuse me, but, but what is the good stuff's dosage supposed to be? Three milligrams. No, oh, that's much less. So what happened? I'm gonna give you an emergency shot of naloxone so you don't die in ten minutes. Oh, well, no pressure. The ambulance would take at least 15 minutes to arrive and then it'd be too late. He's very it's chill about this. Have the emergency nexus stuff. I have it because it, it comes with the kids. It should be here. It has to be. I feel like he has a method to dodge the medicine. Listen to me. Harlan, I need to call Stop the ambulance. It. Stop. Calling the family. Oh, that was a fall. Oh. But you have to do exactly what I tell you. Will you do this, Arthur? Hmm? Oh, what a cool guy. Uh, uh, Holy shit! What the f- Okay. So she's got a Spider-Man in the building. Oh! The secret passage? Yo, that's what? kinda- That's cool. Dad, go back to bed. You were seen leaving. Wow. You've gone from suspect number one to an impossibility. Oh! Ransom, are you back again already? Oh, that's lucky. Very Dark fortunate that it was uh, four eyes there. Sometime in the four next. Eyes. Yeah. More like six eyes, my god. Then what happened at 3 a.m. for the dogs to go crazy? Right? That's the only thing I, there's no answer for is the dogs going crazy at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. They were barking, right? God, yeah. I mean, don't like him because you love him. No, I don't like him. He's an asshole. Mm. But maybe an asshole is what we needed. Oh, God, yeah. An asshole is what Germany needed there in 1930. Come on, whatever. Damn! I'm going to disappear until the politics talk is done. You want some champers? I can't. I'm technically working. Around you, the streets are literally flooded with Nazis. No, 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 huh? no, no. We are. There That's are right. millions of Mexicans coming. Oh, God. And don't don't really? make this a race thing. Yeah, this make this a race ways. thing. I would say this. Stupid. So if 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 the Swiss were. You gotta love like politics in, 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 with the family, right? Yeah. Some of the most cringiest entertainment. Marta, we've been talking it over, and uh, the whole family. We'd like to take care of you. What? What does that mean? What is that? Yeah. We all think that you deserve something. Financially, we'd like to help you out. Oh! You were never anything but good to oh. dad. And oh, it's gonna kill her conscience. Oh my god. Count on us. But still, that is actually really kind of them. Thought yeah, they the don't way have way to. Old, but yeah, but this is probably eating her alive. I mean, it was a mistake, man. You have to do what you have to do to no. beat this and win. I can't. You can. You have to. Right now. Or maybe that's why it was easier to slit his throat, since he was so high on morphine and wouldn't really feel it. Yeah. I don't know. So the possibilities of him killing himself are very hot. You do as I say, and everything will be just fine. <laughs> Woo! He wasn't kidding when he said he does not fear death. Cause no. man, he was He just let her rip, man. That was like a Beyblade. God damn. 
Well, they talked about how he likes playing games. Maybe that he thinks that this is like an ultimate game. Pretty much. And why else do you think he probably sent the detective the letter himself? Yeah. Because he probably thought it would be fun. <laughs> That's incredible in itself. Okay, so we have that solved. But what about, th what about 3 a.m. dogs, though? Street. Ten. Ten a pleasant thing to say, isn't it? Walk right up it. Walk right up it right now. In the same place. Come on, just keep walking. Just, just, just walk through it. They'll, they... Marta. Stop. Stay there, Marta. No, no. If you, oh, if you right, call me. All right. Wagner, we're going to need to call the boys. Yep. Have them come That's down how here, we take do it. All these tracks. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the dogs! <laughs> Best judge of character is a dog. I found that to be true. Yeah, well, they've got plans to read the will at around 10. So. Oh, what's in the will? Well, that's going to be interesting to see what's in there. Yeah. The what if he has, like, all the truths in there of all of them? Holy crap, that would be a one hell of a will reading. Whew. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Hugh Drysdale. Ransom. Call me Ransom. It's my middle name. Only the help calls me Hugh. Uh, this is Trooper Wagner. I'm Lieutenant Elliot. Just want to ask a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Excuse me. Ooh. We're officers of the law. You gonna run me in? I don't feel like talking. I'm distraught. Hey, Benny. You want to ask this guy some questions? Hi, right, what is this? What's this arrangement? Mr. Drosdale. CSI KFC? <laughs> oh. Yow, dude. God damn. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to be in the other room uh, setting up. Be ready in 10 minutes. Yo, that's a lot of stuff. Yo, he's just enjoying some good-ass cookies, man. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. You know what? It's funny you're here at all. Why are you even bothering? That's what I'm asking myself. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Jacob was in that bathroom the night of the party. Joylessly masturbating to pictures of dead deer. What? Oh, you know what, Richard? You want to go? Is Richard yes. projecting of some go. sort? Because that's uh, very specific. That was a very, very specific. <laughs> you got to do this more often. Hey! We know where this is going. You were in the bathroom next to Harlan's office where he had the fight with Ransom. Now you heard something. I just heard two things. And then I heard Ransom say, I'm warning you. I think it means our father finally came to his sense, cut this worthless little brat out of his will. Did Harlan tell you he was going to cut you out of the will? Yep. This might be the best thing that could ever happen to you. Thank you. My mother, ladies and gentlemen. Look, this is not going to be easy for you. Nothing good is ever easy. Up your ass, Joni. You've been this for a long time. Up your ass? Oh, very nice. Matter of fact, <laughs> Oh, shit. No. How's that? No. Do not use that word. Definitely no. eat shit. <laughs> Yo, I love him so much. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. <laughs> dude, he doesn't give his shit at all. No. I'm warning you. Oh, oh the dog's coming. Ransom said, I'm warning you. Well, you have Ransom in there. That's the kind of thing he says. Do you want this? Do you want this? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. This looks like a relatively fresh break. Where's that window? What the hell is happening here? I feel bad for these guys just watching this. Do they have no shame? <clears throat> On the night of the party, somebody who did not want to be heard climbing those steps troubled to break into Harlan Thromby's rooms. Game is afoot. Hey, Watson? Oh, man. That sucks, dude. Yeah, that dog is totally blown. Dearest Linda, Walter, and Joni, some of you may be surprised by the choice I've made here. No pleasure was taken in the exclusion. Please accept it with grace and without bitterness, but do accept it. It's for the best, Dad. Yep. He left it all to Ransom. He did. He 100% did. Because they all can make their own things and make something of themselves. So he gave him everything. I have a feeling it's oh, going to yeah. piss them off. I hereby direct that all my assets, both liquid and otherwise, I leave in their entirety to Marta Cabrera. Oh. Oh. 
And he knew. Oh, that's why he showed up. Yeah. That's even better for him. Well, it was right. the only friend he had, right? He, he loves it. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, now, poor girl, man. It makes her look like a bigger suspect. <gasps> oh, you little bitch. Oh, wow. They turned really fast. Yeah. Uh -huh. Run, 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 run. Run. Oh, my God. You're fucking crazy. That handsome son of a gun! Oh my god! I think this could be the best thing to happen to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Oh, hundred percent. Marta, I know three things. One, I know he didn't commit suicide because I knew my granddad. Maybe you and I were the only two who knew him, so you're not going to bullshit me on this, because two, I know lying makes you puke. Because of that Mafia game last 4th of July. Oh, damn. Oh, and three, I know you just ate a full plate of baked beans and sausage. Look me in the eye and tell me what happened to my grandfather. Just saying it, it sounds insane, but it's all true. And I think Blanc's been on to me from the start. You've come this far. Oh. Help you go all the way. What? Let's... He planned it all. He killed himself with the medications. He swapped it. Because he changed the inheritance a, a week before. Yeah. He, he, he planned everything. He could have planned his own death. Yeah. Because he was a mystery writer, right? I guarantee you he looked up lots of kinds of deaths. I don't know. What's this? It's my medical back tag. They have my medical back for some reason. Okay, but this is a photocopy of just the header of a blood toxicology report on Harlan. Marta, this is going to show the morphine overdose. I mean, the actual evidence is sitting up the street at the crime lab. Wait. What if... <clears throat> huh? Huh? Wait, why is it getting worse? Wait, what? What if Ransom's in on the whole thing? What do you mean? Because he said he was he he acted as a study for That's a year. Insane. So he understands how the way he thinks of the mystery stuff. May have. I don't know, man. My brain's just going. Another theory I have is that she actually did it. There is one. Yeah, that's it. Twelve oh nine Columbus Road, ten a.m. If you destroy that copy, you're totally in the clear. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. This looks bad. Very bad. What the f Yeah, why would you- it Okay, we're going this way, but, but like, she's already made herself look so sketchy now to- I'm- What the f- wait- Pure adrenaline right now, I feel like I swallow bees. Okay, swallow so where bees? is it? What's the address? 1209 Columbus Road. Okay, and I, I mean, whatever they want, I'll say yes because, Anything. you know, just to get that report back. Get I, it back and destroy it. Destroy it. I couldn't do this without you. Oh. Not fast enough. <clears throat> get out. This looks bad. Oh. was the dumbest car chase of all time. Let's go to the police station. I'll catch you up on where we're at. Oh, my God. Oh, so it's going to be put on him to blame. Do you mind if I stop for a second? I need to pick something up. It'll be very quick. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, dark rooms are... Okay, this is uh, no. sketchy. This is a very sketchy looking room. Huh? Huh? They have no shoes on. Whatever it is, we can work it out. But we have to figure it out right here, right now. And I'm leaving with that report. They look kind of dead. Yeah, right? They don't have shoes on either, so that's weird too. The shoes were taken off. <laughs> Ew! Oh. Is she dead? Oh yeah, she's pretty white and cold. Stash? What? What are you saying? She said something with the stash? She said that... 
she did it. Yeah, but I heard something about a stash. That's so strange that they made her overdose on morphine. Stage bright. <laughs> Sometimes I stand. Not go. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for that. I'll bring her in once we get word that the housekeeper is stable. And still touch and go. Young Ransom just told Lieutenant Elliot everything. I have to tell the Trumbies myself. I feel like I owe that to them. Well, well, I don't think that's a good no, idea. I have to do it. I need to do it. You can tell me your whole story on the drive over. Are we still, like, I'm still thinking of 3 a.m. and dogs. Right? That was never answered properly. Because the only pe person the dogs didn't like was Ransom, and he did. That would, it would make sense. That it would have been him, because the dogs seemed to like everyone else from what I've seen so far. Yeah, it's true. Well, has she come to her senses? Well, she's standing right there, Richard. She can speak for herself. Is the rest of the family here? Uh, in the living room. I think it would be better if we were to get her to get get this over with. Anyways, this will tie everything up. I bet it. I'd laugh. It's clear. And I just handed it to you. Yeah. What if he didn't overdose some God, morphine? You're not much of a detective, are you? Well, this is uh, awkward. Nana's chilling. Nana's vibing, dude. You've always been good to me. I. Excuse me. Good to her. You have all treated her like shit to steal back a fortune that you lost and she deserves. You're a pack of vultures at the feast. Knives out, beaks bloody. Knives oh, there it out. Is. That the manner of death in the case of Harlan Thromby is ruled as suicide. What? Thank you all for coming. He saw something Goodbye. on there that's probably very different. Mm -hmm. Why would someone harm me? Someone fishing for a crime to reverse the will. Blanc. Come but on. I was hard before the sealed will was read. So, so yes, the person must have known the contents of the will. Mm -hmm. If the intent was to reverse Marta's inheritance, the fact is, someone who knew what Marta did wanted to expose it, but could not reveal how they knew. Trooper Wagner. Trooper Wagner? Marta, I'm so sorry. I told them everything. I figured it was up. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, it's all right, Ransom. I'm glad you did. Not exactly everything. Mr. Hugh Ransom Drysdale, you might tell us all why you hired me. Yep, I knew it. Much later that day, uh -oh. you'd have to come back to the house to yep. recap the incriminating tank of the house. This time, the dogs were outside. <laughs> the they one barked, thing, I knew it. Made. No matter. But tomorrow brings news, not of a medical error and a guilty nurse. Now the circumstances are perfect for the anonymous hiring of me. Benny, look, I... I hear what you're saying, but just... <laughs> the body is discovered early the next morning. And there is no possible way you can get to Marta's medical bag to retrieve the vials. And that is why... The funeral, he didn't show up. You missed the funeral. Yep. Ransom is guilty. Hmm. His existence is a threat. And if Marta had not outplayed you once again by having a kind heart. Hmm. Saving Fran's life. Fran's alive? Oh, yes. Who will confirm this very story, or summer close to it, and send you? He sounded very you. confident when he like asked yeah. that question, as if like, "Are you sure?" Mm -hmm. She's okay. She's ready to talk. I'm gonna say this just to you. No cameras, no courtroom, just you, because you know it's true. We allowed you into our home. We let you watch our granddad. We welcomed you into our family. And now you think you can steal it from us? You think I'm not gonna fight to protect my home? Our birthright? Yeah, I killed Fran, but I guess I didn't. So what do you have on me? Nothing. What, attempted murder? I get arson for the building and a few other charges with a good lawyer, which I have. I'll be out in no time. And then you'll see just how much hell I can wreak on your life, you vicious little bitch. <laughs> what the shit? Yeah, oh, she lied. That means she's lying. Yeah, man. Friend's dead. Woo! Man, he just took Adios, an even sir. bigger L than he needed to. Adios, buddy, old pal. In for a penny. <sighs> yeah. Perfect. Yo, that's even even bigger L. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Yeah. 
This is when you make sure to keep the money. These people are insane. Yeah, every single one of them. Oh, yeah. Honestly, they all had motives to kill them, and I feel like they would have. Not only that, they all have problems. Oh, clearly huge problems. It's going to be an invisible ink. Yep. And that was the game they played, invisible ink letters. Yep. Yep, she knows. Now, is it really that much of a surprise? Richard was an asshole. Yep, here it comes. Uh huh. Richard's next. Oh my god. Oh, Richard. Oh, S Richard. Well, wow, what a twist. In the end, he technically did kill himself. He killed himself, yeah. God damn, that is actually, uh. I like that, the My House Cup. Mm-hmm. All right, so we just finished watching uh, Knives Out, and I will say it off the bat very quickly, Ryan Johnson is much better at something like this. The, the, the worst part is, is knowing that Ryan Johnson is a good director. And, and writer. Because he, he also wrote Last Be Jedi. Let's put that into there, too. He also wrote it. Yeah, it's very strange because... This was an act this was a good movie, it was an entertaining movie. Yeah. But it's just like then how did he It's like how did you fuck up Star Wars when you're actually good at directing? I think it's because it wasn't planned properly. It was Probably due. it was just like you and JJ Abrams like, alright, Ryan Johnson, have fun. Yeah, there there was no structure set yeah. for each film, so they should like have, you should plan the whole trilogy. Yeah. Before making it. But enough Star Wars. All right, yeah, enough okay. that. But this movie was actually really good. Yeah, but I, I guessed it was him like very early yeah, on. Yeah, it was like he said, it, all it was was the dog three, barking. Three a.m. and the dogs. I put it together. It, it made, I'm like it made that's no it. sense. Because, no. Because the thing is, she never mentioned dogs barking. So I was like, of course, as as, as you said, as soon as the dogs saw him, they barked at him. I think that's the only thing. My only uh, fault to the movie was that it was way too obvious. Uh, yeah, the ending. Like, yeah. I didn't feel like any like, whoa, what a twist kind of thing. No, I was just like, oh, it is him. Okay, like yeah, I got it. Yeah, because just the whole time you're like, because there was it has too, to be him. There was too many reasons as to why it was him. First off, it's like him laughing Stop. and everything. Like he doesn't give a shit and everything. Because he knew. Because he knew. Because it was gonna make them all feel like crap, and he wanted to see that moment. But he also knew that in his plan, they would all get it back anyways. So he just wanted to see the reactions, and also because. He's been a trust fund baby his whole life. He's done fuck all with his life. He's done nothing. He's made nothing. Yep. All he's doing is living off that money. Are you really going to tell me he's truly not going to give a shit? He's going to go out there in the world and start doing something? No. God, no. Bro, it's no way in hell. Honestly, it's not it's not an easy thing to do when you've lived life on the... On, the, on easy mode. On easy mode, yeah. And all of a sudden, you're thrown into hard mode? Bro, no one's going to make that transition so quick at all. To be honest, Chris Evans, I, I love the guy. All right? I, I loved it when he was just sitting there with all his family, telling them to eat shit and everything. That was so fucking funny. It man. was really funny. That, that was absolutely great. Yeah, even like the even like the, uh, the character Richard. Every time like Richard talked, oh. man, bro, he was such an ass, dude. But I loved it. Yeah, now you know where uh, where um, Ransom got it, right? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Richard is such but a But the two dick. of them, I thought the two of them were absolutely hilarious. Yeah, but in general, the cast was really good, man. Oh, wow. solid cast. Like and incredible. Jamie Lee ca Curtis and ooh, stuff like that. Ooh, yeah, you got yeah. a big cast over here. And I gotta say, um, oh man, I just, I, I really liked. Oh crap, I'm, I'm forgetting his name. James Bond guy. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. There you go. For some reason, I blanked really quick there. But Daniel Craig, you gotta love him, dude. He's so good at what he does. That's uh, it. I really liked how he came in with the, the the whole new accent and everything. It was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, 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 straight from the beginning, I thought it was really good. Like, he just sat in the back and just played the piano key every now and then just to test their patience or whatnot. Yeah, and even I was thinking the whole time, you know, it's just like, he would have noticed that blood on the shoe. Oh, 100 If he's as good as they say he was? Yeah. Of course I felt he like the whole time I was thinking, like, that's very bizarre. That and that's why he kept her close by. Yeah. Just to make sure, did she actually do it? Yeah, it, it makes total thing. sense now, because he, he made sure, like, because also with the puking and, like, can't lie, he's like, oh, this is a curveball now, you know? Yeah, because... Because if she really did it and she struggles lying... I thought a good twist of the movie was that she actually killed him. That's what I was hoping for. No, but I think the bigger twist is that he literally killed himself. If he actually was not stubborn, he yeah, took her called, advice... Called the uh, called the ambulance and whatnot. He would have been a okay and fine. And here's the thing, though. Wouldn't he have realized and felt the difference? 
with the morphine. I feel like if you're on that high of a so dose you have of to morphine, also, you have to also think like this. You know, the mind is a crazy thing. That is true. You know, she said like quick, like sweats and stuff like that. Maybe he started to like yeah, panic. It, in it was sense. like uh, severe panicking, and he thought, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, sure, he did. he seriously thing. He said he wasn't afraid of death and whatnot, but still, I guarantee you, he still. Just subconsciously, you're gonna feel something, right? I don't know, man. The that, inevitable. That, yeah, but he said he didn't fear, and he, he literally just went whoosh, quick, like pretty fast. He didn't right? hold back. I mean, he was he, a man of his word. He, there. He didn't wait. And the thing is, like, bro, just take the morphine overdose instead. Don't need to slit your neck like shit, man. You don't need to do well, that. Well, it was just so it wouldn't trace back to her as he thought. He didn't yeah, want her to true. take the big fall that for it. That is. Big and I liked true. how in the entire film they kept messing up where she was. I totally don't know where the fuck she's from now. Okay, Ecuador. They, they, they messed like, up I don't know. so many times. I don't know which one's real at this point. Okay, I couldn't tell. At the, Nobody the end. knew. Like there were uh, Brazil even. Like I, I can't tell no more. There's so many different countries. Yeah, in the beginning they probably said it, and you forget very fast in the near the end. Yeah, pretty much. I. I <laughs> well, the family was. That shit insane, oh my. dude. God, oh my were... god. And you, you, the worst part is, is just like when the family's all together talking about politics, man. I, I, for some reason, I feel like every person who has a family they knows how that feels. Yeah. And it's honestly, I leave. I'm out. I get up. I walk away, dude. That's the conversations I don't want to have. It's chaotic as hell. It's just the thing is, nobody <laughs> wants to listen. Here's the thing: in modern society. Most people, a majority of people, are not smart enough to talk politics. No. They're just not. No. They have their one perspective, whether you're left or right, doesn't matter, but they tend to be incredibly biased. And you're yeah. not really fully educated on the overall topic. So it's not really worth talking to people about politics in general. No, it's not. Because the thing is, they don't want to talk to you about politics. They, want they to just tell want to tell you why they're right. And you're wrong. That is it. So it's not really a conversation. There, there's it's no just conversation. pretty much a battle of... I'm right, you're wrong. Well, you can see it with the, their extremisms, right? Oh, yeah. It, it, she's like, oh, they're all literally Nazis! And all this stuff, and I was it's like, like oh. bro, like... It's like, you know, it's very overdramatic in a lot of ways, and, and uh, it was funny, because it's true. You know, when a family gets together, for some reason... They always talk about politics. There, there's two topics that you should always avoid. It's oh, yes. politics and religion. Yes. These two things... Without a doubt, always cause conflict. Yeah. And it's just a fact. If it, you want to have a good get-together with anybody, just don't bring up these two yeah, fucking because things. The really. Thing is, no, uh, so it's not everybody. No. It's just a majority of people can't have a civil conversation about these things. It gets heated way too quick just because they don't like... They don't want to know that no, they're wrong or, or anything like that. It's because people who talk about these topics tend to believe they know everything and they don't. Not just that, but here's the thing. The people who talk about these topics, who want to engage in these topics, the majority of them are not... like. They're not intelligent enough in the topic, all and right? Not, and they like, don't know and, enough. And no, but it's like you said, too. They're not genuine, either. They kind of want to just tell you why they're right exactly, and why you're but wrong. Exactly, they're not there to learn. They're not there to figure things out. They just want to tell you what's, you know, why they're right and you're wrong. That's basically enough of those politics. I just generally like the movie. And you know what? Really redeemed Ryan Johnson in my eyes. Because after that last night, I, I trashed him so hard. But this was super good. Yeah. Even though I felt I'm, a little predictable... I have to say, the overall story and the characters were really well done. And they were great. And I like the reveal at the end... That the whole time it was actually invisible ink, and Richard was just such a dumbass and wouldn't get it. Yep, that was hilarious. Very smart on his oh. part. Very smart on his part. That was so good, you know. But again, man, the entire family was just a fucking mess, dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Like they were just disgusting individuals. No, they were. They honestly were. He was right to leave them nothing. Yeah, because you know what? When like nobody, like nobody was his friend other than her. Like even Ransom said about his own mother, uh, she was given like a hundred thousand dollars to start up her own. She technically didn't start it herself. No. And you could saw how much it bothered her to even be mentioned. You know, there was any help involved. And she had to make it clear: it's me, it's all me, it's just me. Yeah. Because you, again, she weighs that heavily on herself. Yeah, because you can see the insecurity showing. Yeah, right? the, the, it, it hits her ego hard. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, I think the characters are really well written. And, uh, like, of course, you know, they're all like, oh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll take care of you and everything. No, they're not. And, and as soon as the, she gets everything, cards flip, she's a bitch, everyone, it, you know, exposes them for who they truly are. And I think that was the great thing. Yeah. You know, that they're really, they're all just not good people. They're all horrible people, especially uh, Meg the sets, uh, that mentioned her mom and whatnot. That was just... Yeah. I, Meg, that, that, right there, you crossed the line of trust. That's That was something she trusted you with. You can't... Yeah. Here's the thing. Meg's not innocent. She no. could play the whole, like, oh, they asked... Stop 
playing that wussy yeah, ass stop act, okay? The innocent bitch card. Oh, all right? I'm just a weak little helpless person. No, you're not. You're a bitch. Shut up. You shouldn't yeah, have. You, you shouldn't you, talk you, to people. You're about capable things. of making decisions, and you can choose. Ha! Huh, I shouldn't say anything about this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Because mm -hmm. she realized her mother's broke, and she'll be receiving nothing. Exactly. And so that's she why... has to beg for it now. Yep. That's why she you joined know, in. In the tr you know her true colors show afterwards. Yep. That she's really not perfect or all that great in the end. Yeah. She's. Just like your own family, you know? In some ways, yes. And I think that was the interesting thing. I don't know. All in all, very good movie. Yeah. Actually impressed me. And I certainly love Daniel Craig. He's just good. He, he really he, is. He's just too good at what he does. That's yeah. the thing. I think it's great that he's not playing Bond anymore. Because it's really nice to see him do other things. And, and kind of like really, I don't know, explore a little bit more. That's it. I think it's good. Yeah, because he's a great actor. Yeah. You know, he, I, he, he can do more than just Bond. Yeah, and I'm glad that he's finally going to be doing that. So anyways, guys, that's it from us. We're going to peace on out. We love you all. And we hope you love us. And if you don't, well, that's okay, too. They wouldn't have made it this far. Oh, good point. Yeah. So, uh, shit. Bye. Bye. We're going to peace on out like uh, Mr. Harlan. Yeah, ooh, killed himself. Woo! <laughs>